Good everyone, this is Dambrest Photography and today I'm just going to talk about how I shot these images using a ring light. I'm just going to show you how I shot these images using a ring light and the available LED light in uh, the music studio. And then I'm just going to show you quickly how to use, how to quickly edit your images and use camera roll to color grade them. So as you can see I just used a ring light which is really really affordable. Just use the ring light to shoot these images image and available um, LED light. I use a setting of uh, um, um, an f-stop of 8 then I bumped up the ISO. I can't remember why I bumped it up to around 800 or 1000. I can't remember. I didn't want a lot of light to come into the camera apart from the light from the LED light up there and then I used the ring light as the main light. I'll, on the description I'll put a link that shows you where you can get these things on Amazon and if you want to get them you can just click on the link and buy it and so we'll be going to the editing process right now okay welcome back everyone okay so these are the images we shot these are the images we shot as you can see them these are the images we shot as you can see we just use constant light and the available light i just use one ring light for these images you saw you saw when i shot it and then i'm only using a crop a crop i'm even i'm not even using a full frame camera i'm using a crop camera so i'm using a nikon z50 uh what they call it uh i'm not even using the um z series lenses i'm using the voltros adapter and I'm also using the sigma 18 to 50 mm lens you get so that's just to tell you you can shoot beautiful images even if you don't have those expensive gears you get we use just a um, what they call it we use just a ring light for the main light and then we use the available that's the uh, what they call we use the light in the room for the available light you get just get your settings right and then you'll be able to shoot beautiful images you get what i'm trying to say so right now i'm just going to pick one of these images and i'm going to do a quick edit on it so this is an edit whatever let's say you get you have a client and you don't want to do lots of edits on it so you what you just have to do is just crop this image uh clean up the skin a bit using spot healing brush and then you go to color grade it immediately you get and this color grading if you have this stuff if you have a lot of images you want to do in that from that shoot you can save your color grading so i'm just going to take us step by step and this should not take us long so first of all make sure all your images are exported into photoshop as smart objects if they were not smart objects just right click it you see a place where it will tell you to change to smart object my image is already a smart object so it won't show me but it will show you if you if it was not a smart object you right click and then you see a place where it tells you to change your image to smart object and you change it to smart object so right now my image is a smart object so next thing i'm going to crop the reason why we make sure we is a smart object before you crop is so that it doesn't reduce the quality of your image you get so i'm cropping using a four ratio five four four by five inch so i just need to make sure i'm having a good crop you get just want to have a good crop so let's see we so having something around there i think that's okay mm, i think around here is okay so that's the middle and then i can just take it here let's see so let me just zoom in and see what i'm having if that's what i want okay what do i want for this image that's what i'm going to just i'm just trying to see what i want for this image you get so let's just do it like this let's see no let's take it back okay this is enough let's just do it like that okay let me see something else let's see if i can take down higher a bit okay that's okay that's okay so we we'll just zoom in that and see what happens okay uh i think i should bring that down a bit let's see so truth is cropping just determines a lot of things about an image you get 
cropping determines a lot about an image so we had this before we had this before and then we have this now i'm thinking i spot this image so let's just do it like this okay so let's just do it like this let's shift it up a bit okay that was nice okay i'm going to leave it like that and then i'm going to image image size you see because i cropped this for ratio five uh the height is about one five so i just want to increase that height to two thousand to just increase the dimension of the image a bit okay so that's good so now i'm going to just flatten the image yes yeah, so flatten it like i said i'm not doing much for this image so first of all i'm just going to clean the image i'll just click on ctrl j i'll go to my spot healing brush i'll bring in this image and then i'll just do not too much just those uh, what they call spots that that show a lot you just make sure you clean them off like i said i'm not really doing much edit on this so i don't need to be perfect i just want it to look as clean just as clean you get just clean so so for this my model doesn't really have a lot of spots on his face so you get so i could just go through that like that i think that's okay my model doesn't really have a lot of spots so next thing what i'm going to do i'm just going to add skin finer if you don't have skin finer you could just leave the image like that but i just want the skin to be a bit smooth it looks like i worked on it i didn't really work on it i will drop a link for where you can download skin finer in the description so if you really want to download skin finer then you can just get it so and then you install it you can check youtube or something you'll be able to see how to install your skin finer you get it's very very easy so just go to skin finer go to skin finer I just go to skin finder and then I click on OK. Just click on OK. And then skin finder is more like an AI. It's not an AI, but at least it works like an AI because it smoothens your skin. But it's not like you get before, after, before, after. You see? So we have a smooth transition of the skin. So next, we're going to just click create a stamp layer. Remember to create a stamp layer is Ctrl Alt Shift E. So Ctrl Alt shift e and then we have our stamp layer then we just go to camera roll this is the part where we're going to color grade our image this is the part where we color grade our image and to color grade your image the first thing you do is go to calibration go to calibration i increase the saturation a bit then i sh shift it where do i want it to be around here or around here not too much i think i want it around here but not too much let's see around here no i don't want it purplish i want it bluish but not too much too so yes let's leave it around here but not too much then i increase the saturation of the greens too i like the saturations to be around seven then i just play with the hue let's see around here around here around here around here around here around here okay i like it around here so this is okay let's take it here then the reds i don't do too much on the reds because the reds affect the skin so i don't do it a lot you get i just touch it a bit okay for this i'm going to just leave the reds here yeah so before after before after this just pops up the colors you get it pops up the colors next i go to color grading and then i work on i go to the uh, what they call i go to shadows first and then first of all what do i do i touch the saturation first of all i bring in the saturation let's say about yeah let's say about seven then i move the hues to see where i want the color the feel of this image to be you get just move it a bit little by little find where you want the feel of the image to be okay i'm thinking my shadow should be around here let's see here around here let me bump up the saturation and see okay
okay let's leave that at that let's go to the mid tones let's move the saturation to around seven or eight two then let's touch the what they call it okay so i'm just trying to get a feel for this image i'm for some reason i'm not getting much feel here but let's just play with the shadows the highlights too and see what we can get so let's go to this place and see okay so we have our shadows here and we have our highlights no i want my highlights to be around here let's see let's play with it let's see oh let's take our shadows around here yeah now let's see where highlights can be let's see where our mittens can be yeah around here that's nice now before after before after that's good so we had our before after before after next we're going to go to for this image we have a lot of colors you get we have a lot of colors in this image so we can just go to our mixer let's go to our blues and then let's check it up and see what we can do oh this is this is like crazy you get so when you have colors when you added a lot of colors in your images you could go to your mixer and then just play with it and see what you could get normally if you don't have a lot of colors going on in the image you don't really need to touch your mixer so let me check, check the saturation and see what i could do here okay this is nice before after let's go to around which color let's see this one let's see this is aqua let's see if it doesn't do anything let's go to magentas let's see oh we're having some crazy crazy okay so let's see the magenta let's check the saturation so i'm just trying to play with this and see what i can get let's go to yellows let's see what can we get in our yellows nothing much let's go to our oranges that might touch the skin let's go to our oranges oh i think we should not touch that okay so i think that's okay for that playing with the colors here i think that is good so now we're going to go to the curves and then we're going to just play with this one we could play with the other ones too but first of all i just like to touch just this one and then most times i don't touch the rest depending on the image we'll see for this but first of all let's touch this so you see i made three points here yeah? then i just bring this one top a bit if you see the kind of feel i've given this image it just gives your image a sort of artistic cinematic touch you get what i'm trying to say so now you could play with all these ones uh you see now you see the difference i bring it down give it a bit of shadows i take this one up so depending on the image you are working on you see what goes for it for this image i want it that side that shadows there uh, and let's see what happens here oh uh, yeah i like this i like this i like this let's see for this one okay for this one too let's take it up let's see let's take it up let's see okay now i like that okay you see before after before after you see what we've done before this is what we had this is what we have now before after before after so this is really really good so let me see for the reds if there's something we can touch on the reds let's see what we can do for the red if it's going to have a good effect so take this into the red oh i love this i love the red in this image i love the red so let's bring this one down let's take it up a bit let's see that's nice let's bring this one down take it up bring it down i like that let's take this one up bring it down take it up okay uh let's leave it in the midpoint let's leave it at the midpoint so we had before after before after okay that's nice let's go to the greens let's play with it and see what we have let's play with the greens too i take it there i take it there take it there take it there let's see okay i can give it a bit of greens not too much let's take this up let's take it up okay that's nice let's see i like that just a bit you see i just give that just a bit just a bit oh so, yeah okay just a bit too okay let's just leave that at the middle 
okay so you can see now we have before after before after mind you don't play with these things too much if you play with them too much you might just lose your way just have a feel in your head of how you want your image to be you get so i have a feel in my head if the feel if what i'm plate is not on that feel i just close it all up so let's take this one up let's take it down let's take it up let's take it down wow usually i like cool tones but this one i'm also vibing to the warmth in it so let's take this one like this let's see wow i like this too like this let's take it up let's see let's take it down let's see okay i'm bring so it seems i'm i'm making this image is a bit warmer you get okay let's just leave that at the middle and then let's see before after before after before after so what have we done yeah so this is color grading you get this is color grading this is color grading so before after before after this is nice so last but not the least we'll go to details and then we'll just increase the sharpness a bit just increase your images and then see what you do okay this is nice let's just leave it at 30 let's leave it at oh let's just leave it at 25 okay so sharpen the image next i'm going to just go to effect i could add a bit of grain to my image yeah i could add a bit of grain to it let's see you see now this is it but i found out in my last image i edited while i added grain to it it affected the image on whatsapp so for this image i'm not going to really add much grains let's see before after before after i just like that my i think i'll just make it 20 and see before before after before after nice last but not the least i'm going to add a bit of regent to this image not too much before after before after you see what we've done we we'll see what we've done this is color grading so you can just save this you can just save this save it at the um save it on the file that's on the folder you want to save it in just save it you can just name it color so that you know that that is your color grade and then you save it and then okay so you see this image now i'm done seriously i'm done what i'll do next if i like i could just sharpen this image i could just sharpen this image but i don't need that I could just go another i'll create another stamp layer Control alt shift e Control alt shift e i create another stamp layer i create another stamp layer then i go to filter i could go to texture first i'll go to camera raw first this is another means to sharpen the image this is another means to sharpen the image i go camera raw i give it a texture i mean i like giving it a texture of 15 i click on ok <clears throat> then i go to filter i go to order i go to eye pass I give it an eye pass of 1.2. I make sure my eye pass is no more than 1.5. From 1.2 to 1.5. <coughs> well, 1.2 is okay for me, so I just click on OK. Now I change the blend mode to soft light. <coughs> Sorry. So I change blend mode to soft light. I could use linear light. I could also use vivid light. You get. I could use linear light i could use vivid light but i like soft light because it doesn't look like you've done anything to the image so i use soft light last but not the least i go to brightness <coughs> to z i go to brightness and contrast then first of all i manipulate my contrast or first of all i just even click on auto and see what auto gives me <coughs> i click on auto and see what auto gives me see my, the contrast for auto is even around what i want to do so i click on auto and it's really too dark for me i think so i'm just going to work on it a bit this is too dark so I'll just go back let's see around 30 that's nice and i brighten it up and see if it works for me or i darken it and see which one works for me you get so i think around here is quite good and yeah so we have this before after before after before after see wonders color grading can do to your image this is really wonders color grading could do to your image what you just have to do next is export your image 
now i'm going to do one more image i'm not going to do much explanation but i just want to show you that you could just actually post your color grade into it so this one let's say i have a next image this is my next image i just have to crop it a bit yeah you see now i've cropped this image i click on okay and go to image image size i give that 2000 okay then i flatten my image <clears throat> then i click on ctrl j i look at my image and then i just clean up a bit of some things on the skin like i said this image doesn't really need a lot of cleanups so i think that's okay for me and i go to my uh i go to my filter i go to photo i go to skin finer and i apply the skin finer on the image okay okay so next i create a stamp layer and then i go to camera raw go to camera raw then all i need to do is just go to where i stored i click on load so i go click on here and then i click on load then i go to where i stored the previous color settings that i used for that image this is where i stored it you can see color i click on ok i click on it and i click on ok and you see my colors are applied immediately i click on ok then i just have to sharpen my image filter camera raw as you can see the editing is way faster after you've done your first image editing is way faster after you've done your first image and as you can see i have completed my editing process i've completed the editing of the second one you see i just have to give this one a bit of yeah contrast i think yeah so go back go up that's nice so that's all for the tutorial that's all for tutorials you can see color grading made easy that's quite fast you get color grading was quite fast so if you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and please don't forget to like this video and i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys